What is up, everybody? Welcome to Friday, the Friday after Christmas. Thanks for joining me here on the Ham Radio Crash Course. We're going to have a little fun today. I know it's after Christmas, but we're going to play around with Christmas lights. Yes, Christmas lights. We're going to make an antenna out of Christmas lights, just like we did last year with some improvements. And I already know what I want to do for next year. So that's always fun. <laughs> Wait for the channel to roll in here. Got a lot of people already waiting in the wings to join up here and check out what's going on. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you're seeing this message, why don't you post uh, what you got for Christmas? Get anything good for Christmas? Maybe even ham radio related. Oh my gosh. And of course, the heater turns on. Haven't had one of those happen in a while. <laughs> Good evening from Minnesota. How's it going? What else we got? Remember the last time he did, there was a whole lot of RF in the shack. Yes, sir. I remember. Uh, Peter Spadoto says, got my Raspberry Pi. Very good. A C-Crane reel antenna. Yes. Uh, that is a, a nice little piece of kit. Not very expensive, but oh, man. Uh, I'm a big fan of those reel antennas. What? Hey, BD51518 uh, got his extra. Very good. Congratulations on that. Ian Shaloner, is it Shaloner? I uh, got an F7300, uh, ICOM 7300. And John got an FT891. Very, very good. All right, let's, uh, let's flip her over here. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Again, thanks for heading out. Ooh, I'm getting all kinds of green screeny. That's nice. What if I back up? Did that make it worse? All right, well, I'm going to be transparent for part of the show. Funny how the green, furry, puffy uh, sweater, not tipping off the, the green screen, it's my blue shirt. So, very good. Anyway, welcome to the Ham Radio Crash Course. This is our weekly live stream where we talk about amateur radio, among other things, with a goal to create an inclusive environment where people are able to ask questions or pose interesting, potentially what sound like ludicrous ideas like building a dipole out of uh, Christmas lights. So today is uh, no exception there. And we have a Discord and Facebook group. The links for both of those are in the description. Uh, pre everything's growing pretty well on the Facebook and Discord, and it seems like there's been a lot of activity, so that's really awesome. Hopefully people are getting their questions answered, and that's been super great. Uh, we do a live after stream or after uh, chat. If you head over to the Discord and you go to the live stream portion down towards the bottom, the live stream chat room, and there's a voice chat. Everybody jumps in. You don't have to talk if you don't want to, but you can hear everybody and people ask questions, and it's a good old time, and that happens right after the stream ends tonight. AF6L got an ICOM 7300 and a QSO with Josh on Christmas Day. AF6L, yes, I believe. Uh, did we? Was that FT8? It was probably FT8. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, let, all right, but all right, Adam picked up a chameleon mini and fed yesterday. Haven't got any calls back on CQs, but um, been able to hear a couple nuts. Very good. Michael decided to support Patreon. Thank you. I appreciate that. And hopefully we'll have the newsletter out in a little while. Uh, I had a Christmas party Christmas uh, Christmas Eve with uh, Leia's side of the family, which is generally a pretty big group of people, pretty raucous affair. And I think it's been like the first party in a long time where there was more alcohol than when we started. And uh, so that's always interesting. And the one of the, the people that came left this monkey shoulder. Uh, this is a blended scotch whiskey, um, which I'm just going to pour a little bit of that. I've also got some Aldi knockoff White Claws, but I figured we'll do something a little special for today. So. <laughs> Rob K8BCR says he keeps getting spots for me, but every time he gets out, he can't see me or I'm gone. Um, yeah, we're using HamAlert, which is a, a web app and an iPad slash Android app that uh, we kind of add each other's call signs, and then you get a notification when they're active, and it, it gives you activation information all over the place, all, all kinds of stuff. So very, very helpful in that sense. Mm. All right, so what's in the news? Um, a couple things to mention. The um, open... Oh, you know what? Let me flip over to the web so I can do it that way. That's going to make things a lot easier. Boop, 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 boop. Where did I put that? There it is. And it's there. Okay, it's not there. 
<laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Why is that not working? Um, interesting. There it is. Very good. Very good. All right. That was weird. Uh, anyway, Orange County Amateur Radio Club is doing a swap meet on January 17th, starting at 7 p.m., and it's at the American Red Cross. This is one of the first, uh, sorry, not swap meet, an auction. This is like one of the first auctions that's kind of been in my area, so I'm going to go to that. And kind of, hey, heads up, I didn't know they really did auction, auctions for ham radio stuff, but uh, why wouldn't they, of course? And I guess it's all private auctions, so people come up with their stuff they want to sell and they're able to go about it that way, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, also, there was an Open Spot 3 was released. Uh, some of the YouTubers got it. Bob got it. I think Eric got it. And Jason got one. And uh, I was looking at it. It seems pretty cool. Uh, I've never played with an Open Spot before, but I understand that the interface is really quite nice for just getting it set up so that you can operate on it. It's supposed to be very, very easy. This new one has a basically a 10-hour battery life, and the new feature, it kind of does everything it's always done before, and Pi Stars have done, and blah, 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 everybody else has done. But this one actually allows you to go from, like, DMR to D-Star and back and forth. I think you can even do D-Star to Yesu System Fusion. That's pretty big. Uh, I don't know of many hotspots that are doing that. I'm sure we could have Jason back on, and he could tell us, or if he pops in the chat, he can let us know. But uh, that's the first time I've heard about stuff like that. So that's that's pretty good. Um I, I like it from that standpoint. I, I might check one out in the future. I like the size, too. It's a cool size. Can't beat that. But I really like Raspberry Pis. I don't know if you know that. Um, and the Zoom Spots run on a Raspberry Pi. It's kind of the reason I use it. Mm. That's pretty good. I'm not a big blended scotch drinker, but that's uh, that's pretty good. Probably can't have too much of that, though, or we'll be in trouble. <laughs> anyway, also, a couple of reminders. Uh, James Hannibal at Quirky QRP is doing the $5 discount code. Maybe you didn't get the thing you wanted for Christmas. Maybe that thing was a Slinktenna. And so you can check him out on the Etsy shop, Quirky QRP Ham Radios, and the link is in the description. Uh, and if you use coupon code Quirky QRP HRCC, then you'll be able to get it that way. And Palomar Engineers confirmed HRCC 73 coupon i believe it gets you 10 percent off and that gives you access james watson on a super chat thank you buddy i appreciate that uh palomar engineer 10 percent off which is pretty nice on their products now it's my understanding i found this out a little bit later that they're uh they're kind of offline for the holiday but they should be back um so we'll get that sorted out if you did buy something from them i'm sure they will follow through on that but that's an fyi and i, I really do like their stuff so um very good there as well Okay, let's walk it through what we got to talk about here. Uh, I want to make a couple quick notes, and then we'll get into it. And it's on what I got for Christmas. And there's really only a couple of things, and most of them I got for myself. Let me hop over here really quick. Um, the first thing that was actually purchased for me was this work sharp knife sharpener. It's basically a tiny belt sander. And this thing is awesome. I've already been using that. Very cool. Uh, bought a new light for inside making the videos, this one is really bright. Well, not too bright, but what it has is you can change the color hue to warm to bright white, which I thought was really cool, and that was really cheap. My dad gave me a bunch of beef jerky <laughs> and two video-making things. Actually, they come together. Rode does a new microphone setup. It's basically a transmitter and a receiver. It has a built-in microphone here but you can attach a secondary microphone into this, and this is the receiver that goes on the uh, the camera. So that will be put to good use here in the future. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, let's see. James Jenkins asks, how good a tuner do you need for the Slink Tenna? Is three to one good enough? I don't think so. I think James would recommend that you get a 10 to one. I think that is what he recommends. And that would make sense because that's a nine to one un un that's inside it, a unbalanced unbalanced, and so that is going to be more likely a ten to one. So keep that in mind. All right, anything else I need to talk about here? Uh, oh yeah, and of course James at uh, part97.com 
sent me those shirts over. I don't know that he has a sale going on right now, but I'll reach out and see if he's got a coupon code for the HRCC folks. But um, yeah, I love the shirts. They're really high quality. I've been wearing them, wear them around town. I look like a super nerd. Just kidding. They look really good. And the people that know get it. I like the Playmore Radio one and the uh, Run single sideband, I think, is my favorite. All right. 245 people watching right now. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. If you could give me a thumbs up, that would be awesome because that's how that YouTube algorithm works, and it helps. Uh, it helps. It makes the videos go in front of people, and if they're possibly new to amateur radio, this would be a good way. If you assume, if you think my content's good anyway. Oh, it got quiet again. Boop, boop. Sorry. <laughs> there, sorry about that. Um, if you think the content's good enough that you know it might help people get involved in the hobby, then give me a thumbs up is probably the best way to do it. So thanks for that. Sorry to tell. Sorry about the audio. It's fixed now. Okay, so let's get into talking about the Christmas light dipole because I know that's why most of you are here. My warning logo. Got to turn that on. Plus a, a meme that I have to I have to put in front and center. Side boom posted this on the Discord. By the way, the Discord has a radio meme chat. I love this meme so much. Those bands are so. I, could you, for those of you that have watched The Breakfast Club, could you imagine a, like taking those characters and aligning them to an amateur radio band and having it more accurate? I, I don't know. That's just crazy accurate to me. And the pictures lined up that way. Hilarious. No, it's not weird science. That's The Breakfast Club. I, I don't know why that just like 30 meters being the awkward girl just cracks me up. I, I just so good anyway. OK, so why is the warning flashing aside from me talking about this meme? So we are playing with an antenna that it, it's really unconventional material. We're playing with Christmas wire, Christmas line with small little incandescent bulbs on it. Now, it's not inherently dangerous, but at the same time, it's all those principles that you put into play. If you wanted to make this that you learned when you took your license exam. They all apply here. So make sure you're doing the right stuff, the safe stuff. Make sure you do have the antenna appropriately away from you so that you're not radiating RF everywhere. Or, you know, lower the power, really, really stuff like that. So um, very good. Uh, okay. So I put together a couple of slides. There we go. And we're just going to walk through them really quick because i got a couple of things to say, and then I'm going to walk you through this whole process of, of what I think we're going to do. And we may, just, we may just crash and burn like we did last year, which was still a lot of fun, but it doesn't matter. We'll take calls and, and have a chat in case everything goes kaput. It's a holiday season anyway. So making a Christmas light dipole, what is, uh, what is needed there? Or what's the goal? So the goal is using a non-traditional piece of material, Christmas line, um, and I'm going to basically cut this or have cut it for 30 meters. And I use the um, equation of 468 divided by the frequency that I wanted to use, which is 10.136 for FT8. That was my going in plan. Okay, That was exactly what I set forward to do. That's not what turned out to happen. And I will explain. <laughs> and it will become apparent. So how we're doing this, this is the simple design. One wire off the center connector of the coax, the other wire off the shield. Now, you notice how everything off the center connector is lit up, at least colored, and the other side just is not? Well, if you think about it, the center connector is where your RF is, is basically going out, where that power is going out. So it's going down that one leg and lighting up the other side, not so much, right? So that's kind of what happens if you do it the traditional build way, which is what we did. In the future, I might do something a little bit different, but you get the idea. Um, that's the, the way forward. Now, there, there is an alternative, and that's if you ran a basically a wire off the end of this guy down around to the basically where the other leg would connect to the ballon, connecting it at that point, circling that around, and then connecting it to the shield side. Uh, it's a bit funky. That's not necessarily what I wanted to do, but that's okay because we've got a plan and we've got a way to move forward. All right. Now, a couple of notes here. Um, so when you get the Christmas, wi uh, Christmas lines, they're usually three wires, right? And to use these Christmas lights, you're going to have to separate 
all the wires that have the lights on from the other wires. And how it generally works is you'll get about, I'd say, 15 feet of wire with line, and then all the wires will terminate into one light. And so what I did was I just snipped it at that point. So I had 15 feet, give or take, uh, probably a little less than that, more like 10 feet, of single line of lights in serial, meaning wire to the light up and down the filament to the next wire to the next light up and down the filament to the next wire and up and down the filament and so on. And then I joined all the light lines together with the NASA splice. And that's what you see in this little circle here, which I've talked about in the past. Uh, KG5 UBB, you could use a differential feed line. Yes, you could do that. Yeah, there's there's so many there's so many ways that you could go about doing this. There's no really one right answer or wrong answer. Um, and again, they're Christmas lights, so it's like how much time are you going to spend on this? And great, we can do it a different way another time, and that would be fun. Or we can use some other non-traditional means to make the antenna. So I terminated the ends with just automotive eyelet crimp-on connectors. Pretty straightforward there. Um, Will mentioned, see how I've wrapped everything around the cardboard? I figured that out last year. A strip of cardboard that you wrap the light wire around really makes it easy for, for keeping a handle on these things. Uh, the upgrade from last year, the big upgrade, was we added a ballon. And this is a Radio Waves B11i. And it's a one-to-one -one current isolation ballon. That's what it's called. And so basically, uh, that's going to prevent some of that RF coming back down the feed line, which is the problem we had in a big way on the last, uh, last run-through. So hopefully this will be a much better Metter Go. How I have it placed. Some of you are already thinking, wait a second, he's got it outside the house. So this is um, on the tripod of my hex beam that's on the roof of my house. And let's make sure I've got everything set up here because we're going to have to switch over to something here in a second so you guys can really follow along because I've got some things to show you. I'm, I'm doing something really, for me, exciting. So I hope you're all excited too. So anyway, kind of a poor placement. It's just kind of um, lashed to the top of it. I made sure that the uh, nothing was touching any of the, the metal legs. So you're wondering, how are you going to see it? <laughs> so I set up this solar-powered camera on my roof. And uh, it's connected via Wi-Fi, and I've got it connected to the stream. So we're going to be able to watch all of this live. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. <laughs> and here's a test image of, of me setting it up. <laughs> so I'm very excited. Um, I, I hope this goes as well. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be fun no matter what. All right. Is that the last slide? Uh, no. So, <laughs> so I threw it on the analyzer. Whew. Not good. Uh, not good on the initial runs of the analyzer. I was <laughs> not very excited with how this all came out. Um, but we will see. So what does that mean? Let's switch over to the display here. All right. So what I did was I threw it on the Nano VNA. And so I cut the antenna. Remember, I cut the antenna for 30 meters. But you've got all those resistors, they're light bulbs with the resistors in line and serial. So measuring them out using the standard, the standard amateur radio calculations probably are not going to work very well. And, and, and we could see that here, kind of. Uh, the lowest SWR is just about 2.5, and that's at actually 40 meters, which is right here, the lowest point. Uh, it's 2 point, oh, actually 2.506 at 7.925 megahertz, so way, way out of spec. And the impedance is also way off. It's, it's 118 by 9 ohms impedance. And that's uh, exhibited up here on the Smith chart that you can see. And then if you slide over here 10 meters, it's actually another dip on 10 meters, but then you got this massive spike that shoots up. So something, something's funky there. Uh, lowest, SW, uh, lowest SWR there is 2.817 with a 130 ohm resistance. So not, not good. So yes, we're going to need a tuner. Now, there's a couple of different ways you could modify this, and, and you could if you wanted to spend um, spend the time to do it. 
you could. You could go all different ways to do it. But anyway, so we've got it connected uh, to my 7300 right now. Uh, I am on 40. Uh, that was the lowest SWR and the lowest impedance, so I thought I'd start there. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and slide up to... Yeah, let's let's find a quiet place. Oh, I've got to reconnect the antenna too because it's connected to the Nano VNA. Hold on. Wow, that connected really tightly. Okay. All right, so that's my 40 meter antenna that is on top of my house, but here, I'm turning it over. Here is the Christmas light antenna. Oh, it got a little bit louder. All right, we're gonna tune it up right now. So here we go. Oh, you know what? I should show you the video then. Ta-da! <laughs> so here's my roof. Here's the tuner. Okay. Are we... Let's make sure I've got everything connected correctly. I don't want to mess anything up. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Let's do that again. Let's slide down a little bit. Okay, it seemed to like it. Oh, we got a flash of light. I don't know if you saw that. I saw a flash of light. There's going to be a bit of a time delay, so just, just expect that a bit. So here we go. Um, so we are at 5 watts. We'll go up to 10. And <laughs> let's, um, let's pull up WSJTX. How does that sound? I think there's somebody on that frequency, maybe. Oh, somebody might be there. That's funny. You know you're an engineer when you live stream your roof. <laughs> okay, so if I if I key up, I'm going to actually get my... Oh, yeah, there is a CW contest, I think. So let me... Let me back that out a little bit, show you what that looks like. And we do get a lot of spurs and some hash. Uh, that noise floor is probably... Now we do have the AGC on. I'm a little anxious to... to... Anyway, here we go. Haha. <laughs> So that was 10 watts. And it lit up. <laughs> and it didn't burn out. <laughs> oh, okay. That's exciting. Um, so the last time we did this, it was shutting down all the video cameras and, and everything. So I think, I think we'll switch over to... To FT8, we're going to be on 40 meters. So if you want to try and, and get me, uh, now would be a good time. Or at least try, because who knows if this is going to work. Or for how long. All right. Oh, it certainly picks up signals. This time we are not. Yeah, I'm sorry. For some of you, I'm I'm sadly disappointing you. Sadly disappointing you, I appreciate. So if nobody minds terribly, I'm going to isolate the part of the video here where I know the antenna is. And then we're going to add WSJTX in so that we can see the light but also get the WSJTX screen on. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. Yes, something like this. 
could have done that. I, I should have thought about this beforehand. I apologize. I, I spent uh, actually the last couple of days dinking around with this thing. So, um, you know, I'm going to turn that down. Hey, there's WSJTX. Okay, so f first, if anybody wants to try and call me, that would be funny, because if we can actually get a call. Um, in fact, I can slide this over a little bit more. So we should see it right there. It should be the brightest part of this as we try and work FT8. I'll shrink this down a little bit, too. Okay. Something like that. Oh, somebody's... No, that's a CQDX. Oh, I got really excited. <laughs> Let's get off that frequency. Okay. What do we got as far as... Receive... Oof, that's pretty bad. I'm hearing the station's pretty bad. All right. Oop. No, that's good. That's okay. We're fine. All right, here we go. I'm going to call it. Well, you know what? Let's do a, a quick tune. Yeah, we've got lights on. Okay. Now, we're only at 10 watts. We're going to bump this up. We're technically going to bump it up until we blow it out. So <laughs> so hang on, because here we go. <laughs> Unless we just blow it, off on this, blow it out on this first uh, go around. We'll see. And we've got lights. Okay, so don't get too excited. That's pretty light, you know. That's don't. We're not. We're not there yet. We'll, we'll blow them up. I promise. Oh, uh, AG seven CN. Okay, AG seven SU. is a negative 6 dB to me. Replied, no copy, I'm guessing. So we'll start to graduate the power up. Uh, so KE0WIZ. So the uh, one side's the only side that's going to light up because it's the only side that's connected to the center connector on the dipole. The other side is on the shield. So I'd have to circle them back around um, and appropriate. And basically, I'd have to take the end of one leg, circle it back around to the, to the kind of feed point of the other leg, and then have that circle back around to the shield. Okay, nothing, nothing on ten. Let's go to fifteen. So I didn't get AG7SU couldn't hear me. Oh. Oh, no, wait. I got him. Negative, uh, negative 11. Yeah. Yeah, so, so everybody that's like, well, I only see light coming off of one side. Well, that's because that's the only side that's connected to the center connector. If I circled it all around and, and, and did, I would probably need a resistor in there somewhere, I'm guessing. Anyway, okay, so we just made a contact. AG7SU73. All right, who's the next strongest station? AF6L, so 6 Land, California. He's uh, calling me. That big bright light you see at the top, that is a street light, and I don't know how to turn off the low light so that that isn't so crazy um, on this thing. I might try it in a little bit. But we are transmitting on a speaker wire. Or, uh, sorry, not a speaker wire. Uh, we are transmitting. Okay, he's not hearing me at uh, 15 watts. Let's go to 20 watts. I think it got more intense. I think. Don't think he's copping me. 
even in full wave of lights on 40 meters. Yeah, that's what I thought, uh, Eric Marshall. So you basically turn, you're making a loop antenna um, if you looped it, but then you would get power to all the lights, but a full wave. So you're probably better off doing something like um, uh, 20 meters. No, that's half wave. So you need to double that. That's a lot of wire. We wouldn't be able to do a nighttime show with that much wire. So this has got a built-in uh, fail-safe. If, if the lights stop turning on, you know we have a problem. <laughs> Honey, my antenna's broken. How do you know? The light's burnt out. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> Okay, let's switch it up. AE0AX, calling out to you there. You're a negative six to me. AF6L, if I can't, uh, I'll keep bumping up the power here shortly as we go. We can try again. Heard in NH? What? I don't believe it. Yeah, so the um, the common knowledge or common mentality on a dipole is that the current should be a bit of light right at the feed point and then get brighter as it gets to the ends. So this is not doing well. <laughs> this has got problems. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to wait for this to stop. We're going to have to do a tune. I think I tuned it down in 706. So I'm going to retune it real quick. Okay, no big deal. All right, we're going to bump that up now to 25. Okay, WY7BG, here it comes. Whoa, that's getting brighter. <laughs> so the, where the light is more intense, that's where the, the largest, uh, largest amount of current is on the antenna. Nope. We're getting some people that can hear, but, you know, it's this is probably not a very good antenna, I'll just say. We've made one contact, which I'm pretty impressed by. I'm, I feel like whenever you're doing one of those, like, let's build an antenna or will it antenna, and you can make one contact, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'll pull up PSK Reporter right now. I, I actually didn't check how many watts. So if anybody wants to figure out if they're the little tiny twinkle lights, you know, the little vertical incandescent bulbs, um, if anybody knows how many watts those put out, I'd be curious. Yeah, my PSK reporter is saying I only have been heard by one person. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have a different view than me. And they're up in, uh, looks like Was uh, Washington. Right. 
So John Williams got it. The the bulbs are resistors, so they're just basically eating up the power, and they're putting off nice twinkly little lights while they do it. Um, they are not transmitting. Yeah, my neighbors are probably going to call like the fire department on me. Oh, uh, is that so the wattage chart? Is that the wattage chart of using them for like a given period of time? Or is it just like this is an X watt bulb? Because that's what I only found online. Hey, there we go. I'm now picking up stations. <laughs> picking them up on uh, PSK Reporter. Negative 19. Yay, suit. So we got a uh, W0CES is picking me up on a uh, Yesu 891 into a Raspberry Pi. Cong that's awesome. AG7. Wow, I'm, I'm negative 11 to you. How can we not complete that contact? Did we not complete? Wait, we did complete the contact, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, good. It was the other A station, AE0. Need bulbs that light up by inductance, not by being in the circuit. Uh, yes, that would also be another way to do it. The carries is correct. So, like, if you had a mag loop, um, if you have, like, one of those compact fluorescent bulbs and you just kind of hold it by it, it will totally illuminate. All right, we're going to go up a little bit more power. 30 watts. Here we go. We may lose some lights right now. Now mm. oh, we're pushing it. Oh, that may be why. Let me uh let me see what the bands. No, I don't see anybody else that's transmitting on top of me, so we'll see. No, we're good. Back to it. <laughs> the lag uh, with this antenna, with, with the video showing the antenna, I keep thinking I've burnt out all the bulbs every time I it starts transmitting. Yeah, so let's see. what What is the rating on that? Let me go back to that link. Where is that link? Wow. So who was it? Somebody was on the 80, uh, oof, 100 watts into a loop. That's pretty awesome. I like that kind of stuff. That's awesome. Hey, there we go. Yes. <laughs> KI7BKL. I got a negative 12. Oh my god. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, transmit power is 30. Oh, do I have JT Alert on? That's not going to be very good. That's going to make things a lot easier. Lock those contacts down. I see a Venezuela station. <laughs> KD5 uh, QZG. Skookum ass frig, his shirt says. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Um, I'll move this up here. So that's... My logger automatically pulls up the QRZ picture. So there's the gentleman we're working right now. <laughs> or hopefully. I'm negative 19. I dropped. Oof. <laughs> Smoking Gun says you should give something away uh, for who guesses the blowout wattage. That's not a bad idea. I'm going to have to start going in increments of, uh,
Yeah, so the um the link that somebody found online, I, I'm sorry I didn't I didn't notice who sent it. I'm not looking for like how long it's the wattage is that's gonna cost you over a duration. I'm looking for what the bulb is like what the bulb characteristics are because they're all pretty much the same I, I, i'm just looking for like a characteristic of them not i'm not looking for absolutes i'm just looking to like where what do you think the blowout is 65 to 70 40 watts i guess it doesn't matter we're gonna find out <laughs> Yeah, so I, you could say this is a, the ham radio bands are dead uh, video because they're obviously not dead. Um, here we are. If we get... Oh, negative 20. I got a negative 20 from KD5QZG. We might want to run this for a little while and see if we can do single sideband. That would be kind of interesting. I, actually, we should... Oh, you know what? Well, that's just odd. No, you know what? Maybe we're putting out enough RF now. We're getting uh, light on the other side. So watch this. This didn't happen before with the last one because of... Probably because we blew them out so fast. But the other side is lighting up too. You can see it. Yay! So I was wrong. I was incorrect. That was just for my experimentation. Oh no, he's not getting my negative 17. Stay with it. That's two more watts. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming I'm losing, losing most of the power from the lights. I'm negative 10. Yeah, so the bands aren't dead. I'm literally out here talking on or trying to communicate via Christmas lights. And it's working. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to have to back off on this one. I'm bummed out. We can't complete the call. Contact. All right, AF6L. Let's, let's try and do it. And if they come back, we'll, we'll try and hit it. Oh, well, <laughs> that's something we could do. We could turn the... Well, the amp is on. That is true. The amp is on. We could just... We could just flip a switch. That's all it would take. It's just flip a switch. Oh, I don't know if the Ballon can handle that much power, though. I didn't check the Ballon. I don't know if the Ballon can handle legal limit. I assume it can, but still. I don't want to go... Uh, I don't want to go blowing up a Ballon. That's a good Ballon, too. I really like that Ballon. It's, it's not... Uh, Azav 8 Raw. Next beer is on me. D E K B 7 Zut. Z U T or Z U T. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, we locked it down. All right, so AF6L, I got that negative 18. I will take it. KD5QZG, hang on. Hang on. Let's get that 7.3. Did I get it? Let's see. Mm. Did not get it. Uh, KE0WIZ asks, what is your favorite keyboard shortcut of all time? Shift Z on Final Cut Pro. Oh, come on, buddy. Hang in there. All right, here we go. Three more watts. 
It got brighter. It did get brighter. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Skelder Davis sent a super chat for its uh, bulb is 2.4 volt and 0.45 watts. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay, KD7QZG coming back at you with the negative 15. Uh, so I am less inclined to go to FT4. I don't want to go to FT4 with this. We want to stay low power. And so stay in low power. We don't want to do FT4 in my mind. Well, with this crappy antenna too. I'd rather give you enough, a lot of time to, to capture all that data. What is somebody calling on the top of me? Is somebody calling CQ on top of me? Ugh. So, I will say that, um, who was it? Is it, uh, it was Chris says, depressing is that with that crap antenna, he hears more than I am. Um, I have done a lot of work, although this is not really an example of it because it's so messy, to decrease noise in the shack. Uh, so everything else around it is good. It's the antenna that's bad. Okay. WY7BG. Let's try it really quick. What the heck, Venezuela? The neighbors have to be freaking out. I'm waiting to get like a message. I would say this antenna is pointed in the worst direction it could be. <laughs> There's nowhere else to mount this thing. Curtis Harbin, take it easy. No. This, uh, we'll give it one more with WY7BG. Um, otherwise, let's try to go do JS8 call and we will... Uh-oh. No more light. Or not. <laughs> or not. Hold on. I'm going to back it down to 30. Did we just kill it? Oh. We didn't kill it. It's still alive. What just happened? That was weird. What was that about? No, the video feed's active. It's got a timer on it, so I know. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, active. Okay, it should pop in right now. Oh, 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 I know why, I know why. I know why, hold on. That's why. There we go. Okay, KD5QZG, let's try it one more time, and then let's switch over to JSA call. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you're not hearing me, don't call. Like, if you're not hearing me talk to people or you're not hearing me call CQ, don't call, because your station's probably got a way better antenna and more power, and it's making... Uh, Making it complicated on the on the receive side. I lost him again.
Yeah, it's going to run for 15 seconds as it's transmitting. Stop, listen for 15 seconds, transmit for 15 seconds, back and forth. That's how FT8 works. That's it's it's a handshake. It's a back and forth mode. Okay. <laughs> Russ Carr says, you can hear me, but I'm not getting you. That's really bad. Oh, there we go. Wait. Did I already get you? Yeah. Okay. Good. LED lights will not work. Oh no! All right, we gotta we gotta try and push the the envelope again. We're gonna go to thirty two. We're gonna go thirty five, thirty five, thirty five, even brighter. What time? Oh my god, we've gone almost the whole time. All right, let me turn on the phone lines really quick. In case somebody wants to call in, I don't want to miss out. Oh, God darn it. Because we got to start pumping up the wattage here. I don't know what the deal is with LEDs, but they won't work for this uh, function. At least I haven't tried them, and the prevailing knowledge, everything I've read, is that don't bother. Hey, it's Jagger. How you doing, buddy? Jagger, you there? Hey there. Yeah, I'm here. How's it going, man? Hey, man. Fun. Sh good. Fun show tonight. Um. I had, a, I had a question for you about the, uh, you mentioned that you had a Harbor Freight, uh, what's it called, Apache case for your 7300? I do, yes. Can you recall if that was the, you said it fit right in there, so I'm thinking yes. it's the 3800. You you messaged me about this somewhere, and I didn't get back to you, so I, I don't remember off the top of my head. It's in my office. I'm going to wrap up the show when I go outside of the, the live stream. To use the restroom, I'll look at it. Are you going to the after show? Are you going to go to the after chat? No, I'm not. I, I'm yet to join Discord. That's okay. Kind of a Luddite. Uh, email me at, at hoshnasi at gmail.com and remind me. But I'll, I'll take a look after the show and send it to you. Okay, yeah. If it just if it fits in there real tight, it's probably the 3800. If there's a bunch more it, room, it's probably the 48. The, the edges, I, I feel like it's about an inch on each edge, maybe. Okay. On on two okay. edges, and then there's kind of a front and back space. Okay, yeah, it's probably the 38. But anyway, yeah, I'll I'll give you an email. Okay, cool. Yeah, fun show. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. All right, we're gonna ramp up now. Um, I'm not. I'm going back to CQ, and I'm I'm gonna. We're going to 40. Here we go. Oh yeah, 40 is good. Hey, new caller. What's your name? Hey, uh, it's Anthony. Anthony. K0, what was it? Uh, Kilo Zero, Mike, India X-Ray. All right. What's going on? Um, nothing much. Um, I'm 17 years old. Um, getting actually getting my general tomorrow. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. Um, I have one question, though. Okay. I'm wanting to, uh, get an HF, probably like base radio. Okay. What do you recommend I get? 
Uh, how, what's your budget? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> as low as it can be. <laughs> mm, give me something better than that. Are you talking under a um, thousand? Yeah. 7,300. <laughs> HF specifically, 7,300. Okay. <laughs> Does that work? Or what? Uh, yeah, did you want to save more yeah. than that, or where, where did you where did you want to? Well, do, do you have an antenna? Or are you? Um, do you need the whole thing? I don't really have much. Um, like I don't even really know what antenna I have. I just have one that my grandpa gave me. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty much new to ham radio. So. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um. So there's a couple ways to look at it. I made a video called the thousand dollar ham shack and that includes antenna radio and coax and stuff like that. You might want to go look at that to give you a little bit more detail since you are new and starting out, that might be a good place to get started. You might want to go there. All right. Awesome. All right. Thanks for calling in. All right, thank you. And happy yeah, new year soon, right? Yeah. All right. See ya. I don't know if this KD5QZG is actually trying to work a contact with me or not, because it's been 20, 20, 20 consistently no matter what happens. So are you actually in the chat or are you just messing with me? Because this is you keep trying to work the contact. It's not working. Hey, Eddie, how's it going? Good. How are you, Josh? What's up? Hey, um, I just wanted to share my experience. Uh, I did a uh, little dipole for my uh, kx2 with christmas lights and fairy lights just before thanksgiving nice how'd that um, go so the christmas lights are working great but the fairy lights on 10 watts i just i was watching them blow out one by one. Oh yeah going up I the bet. strand those are are those leds are fairy lights leds uh the ones i had i don't think were but i i guess they were just small enough they couldn't quite handle that Uh, yeah, probably just blew them out. Yeah, but, but it was funny. I had did a you make contacts with it or do any? We did you make anything happen? I was on it. And uh, every time one would start to blow out, my signal would go up and then drop and then, you know, <laughs> remain the same. Did you work any contacts with it or complete no, any QSOs? No, a friend and I. Oh, okay. And, yeah. All right. Very cool. Cool. Um, the other thing is I sent you a super chat earlier, um, but you missed it because you thought your lights were out. But um, I said you should solder a bunch of bottle caps together, make an antenna out of that. Oh, sorry. I missed that. I'll have to go back and look at it. Um, oh, I see it. Solder bottle caps together to make an antenna and use bottles as insulators. I mean, that's just crazy enough to work, maybe? Um, kind of? <laughs> I don't know if that would work. <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> very good all you right well years, though, right? you just gotta save up yeah 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 for sure <laughs> all right um eddie I'll, I'll hang up the phone with you here for the callers that are on the line hang on i'm gonna try and we're almost about to wrap this up i'm gonna i'm gonna amp it up here i'm gonna go up a couple of watts here so eddie it's good talking to you i'll, I'll hopefully talk to you in the discord after yeah yeah we'll see you there bye. all right bye all right, so we are, you know what? I want to do this before we, we wrap it up. Um, let's see. No, you know what? We're just going to go. We're going to 50. Okay, 50 watt output. Here we go. Uh, the program you use for JSA call is JSA call, all in word, just like you have it spelled. Whoa, 50 watts. There it is. That's bright. That's real bright. Uh, I will remind everybody, the last time I did the Christmas light dipole that was in my office, like indoors, I made a, an FT8 contact with New York. Um, it was a fluke, and that thing burnt up real fast. So it was like a glass cannon of, of light bulb antennas. Um, oh, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Let's switch to JSA call. Oh, shoot. I guess we can go a little bit longer. It is the holidays. We'll call it an hour and a half show. 
Um, let's wrap this guy up. I'll turn the uh, enable transmit on. Have you noticed that the higher power they now light and dim almost sequentially? Um, probably. Oh, there's somebody. Wait, it's the same one. All right. I think you're fooling with me. <laughs> KD5QZG, are you in the chat, man? <laughs> are you actually in the chat? I'd like to know. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Uh, the lights have no color. They're just white lights. Okay. Oh, okay. Adam, I heard you, but it's not connecting. Are you not getting my negative, all my negative 14s, negative 19s? You got to click auto sequence, that checkbox. Click the checkbox that says auto SEQ. Okay, I'm gonna try once more. Do you get? Uh, I'm I'm calling you. I'm giving you a negative ten. So you've you've come from a nineteen to a negative ten. Oh yeah, K Booty man, he's the one that sent me the pager. I wouldn't have had that ham radio pager if it wasn't for K Booty. <laughs> it's so bright all right we gotta wrap it up on on that one i'm sorry man kd5 qz or uh qz jet oh it's q z j g that's it sorry about that okay let's uh let's flip over i'm gonna take a call while i work jsa call here get that going new caller on the line what's your name uh, i'm david kg5 ubb uh ubb yep all right, David, what's up? Uh, I was just uh, wondering if you could ever do a Christmas light hex beam or some other directional antenna and we could watch the Christmas lights from either the top or the bottom. I thought that'd be a, a really cool episode. Um, you could, but by the time that like you got that all working, you're, you're probably going to be in a decent amount of money and it's not going to be very like worth a damn if you will <laughs> like this is not a, a good antenna i i only have done this because i got like a really cheap big supply of these cheap christmas lights um i would not try and make a, a directional beam out of this this is a bit of a a gag if you will if that makes or sense possibly a i was also thinking of a you know the dx commander vertical multi-band antenna Yes. Do one of those that are on a Christmas tree. So you could <laughs> look at the Christmas tree and see the different bands lighting up. Uh, so if you were on 40 meter, the 40 meter well, one would light up and you'd see the right. harmonic together on the other lights. Uh, yeah. I mean, so let me be clear. You can do that. You could basically do whatever you want when it comes to this kind of stuff. You can have fun with it. Go nuts. Um, but at a certain point, you're kind of just creating these nutso things that you spend a bunch of time doing, and then you're like, well, what do I have to show for it? An antenna that is pretty bad at everything. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's not great. So that's kind of how I feel. Well, I uh, just thought I'd put the uh, ideas out there. Uh, no, no, yeah, I, I, I appreciate the idea. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 uh, I got to go anyways. But uh, okay. good luck with JS8 call, and uh, thanks for making all the awesome videos. Hey, David, thank you uh, very much for watching and calling in. Take it easy, 7-3. Uh, okay, we're going to take Cycle Camp. I've got uh, JS8 call loaded. Let me get it up on the screen here. Whatever you want when it comes to this kind of thing. Hey, How you doing, Cycle Camp. Go ahead and uh, mute your good. background noise. Why is that there? Okay, is that better? Yes. Yeah, sorry about that. Hey, I just want to tell you, over here on the East Coast, FT8 is just getting blown away. There's not an open slot anywhere on the on the waterfall. Oh, I bet. So I, I, I feel bad because I know you're trying to get out here, but it's just not going to be possible. But I just want to let you know uh, I was watching, and uh, have a great afternoon. 
Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, I'm on JSA call now, and I'm throwing out the heartbeat. I need a heartbeat. All right, Cycle Camp, thanks for calling in, buddy. Take it easy, sir. See ya. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't think I'm here. I don't think anybody's hearing me. Wait. Maybe, I don't know. No, nope, let's tune up. So that was a bit of a tune, so let's do that again. And we got a new caller on the line. What's your name, new caller? Hey, Josh. It's Kilo 9 room. It's really Papa. Hey, what's up? So, you know what I was thinking is, uh, have you tried pushing AM through it? With uh, yeah. I mean, that's a... Whoa. Hold on. Oh, now I did it. Uh, that is going to give you a solid carrier. Yeah, but it would also strobe the lights, wouldn't it? It's not necessarily strobe. It might strobe them faster than you could see the difference, but you'd still have a solid carrier. Oh, that's right. Okay, well, what about single sideband then? Sure. I mean, it would do okay. the same thing as FT8 would do. It, actually, single sideband would fluctuate more. See, uh, things that yeah, are like 100% duty cycle are going to give you that bright light. Yeah, well, I, I forgot about the, the, the single carrier of, or the, 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 the main part of the channel of AM, where it has a big, you know, carrier. But on single sideband, you don't have the carrier, so it would go with your voice, and so it should fluctuate brightness, correct? Um, say that again? So if you went on single sideband and talked voice into those Christmas lights. Yes. They should modulate your voice. And bright, you should brightness. see fluctuations in the light, yes. Well, a bit. Yeah. Because, again, that stuff is kind of happening kind of quickly. So you're going to see something but not a lot. The, the biggest thing you see is when you do CW. That will literally pop up and down. Huh. Morse code, on, off, on, off, on, off. Interesting. I was thinking to myself, wouldn't it be interesting if you could uh, decode your voice through the light? By, you know, using, like, a photovoltaic sensor of some sort. Oh, that'd be interesting. I don't know that that... Well, maybe. That's an interesting idea. I, I know I know. Matt's been thinking about whenever he builds his tower at his property, about uh -huh. putting his call sign as uh, neon uh, lights on the tower. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bump up the power here a little bit. We're going to try and blow this thing up because... Uh... I want to get to that after chat here. All right, so we are at we are at fifty fifty watts, man. All right, we're going to fifty five. I kind of didn't expect that, but oh, I got somebody. Somebody's replying to me. Is that okay? Somebody's replying right now. Uh. Yep. So how many bulbs are on each three on hundred? Uh no, less than that. Less so, than that. Directed message. That's surprising. So I'll send negative fourteen your S and R to me. A G seven S U. Who we worked on FT eight. And they're still going. They're still going strong. I probably should have actually just ramped them up. We should probably just stop and do that again right now. Uh, Richard says probably over or near 100 rods. I think you're. I think you're actually right. I should probably like kick these up a bit. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna take a big jump. We're going to 65. I don't know why I was being so hesitant, but let, let's see if we can do that right now.
you know, when you look at the actual markup of how they build the bulbs, uh, so they don't, uh, you know, one light that goes out doesn't kill the whole, you know, strand. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm surprised. I'm surprised you're not. Bul- I mean, I know why you're not blowing bulbs, but at what point will it blow the bulbs? Well, that's where we're gonna and find. Why does it start from the? T- why does it start at the top of the tower and go downwards? That's where the, the center connector is on the. Uh... Well, so, so I can't. We can't see the uh, the other the other end. The other end might have uh, high current as well. The the tip, the leg yeah. of the of the dipole, I can't see that because the okay. video isn't wide enough on this camera, and I wanted to get the center connector. Hmm. Let's. Still not getting an acknowledgement, so we're going to go up again. Another 10. 75 watts. <laughs> Chris C. sent a super chat that says, as Connor would say, QRP is 1,499 watts. All right, let's do heartbeat again. I need that heartbeat, man. I need an acknowledgement. Philip Muth says, Happy New Year. Thank you. I appreciate that. Still going. All right. We're going. We're going to jump this one up again. I think somebody actually copied me right now. Hold on. Let's see if somebody actually copied me. You might want to go out there and take a picture with, like, a smartphone that looks somewhat what the light looks like out there with your eyes. Yep. Negative 19 from W4CAT. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to do it. We're going to 90. And if that... Uh, oof, okay. Uh, let's do directed message to HRCC with... Oh, come back screen. Why did my screen just cut out? <laughs> it's too much RF in my screen. All right, here we go. 95. Or 90. Yep. Very bright. Very bright. I know, right? What time is it? 8, 12. Uh, yeah. I'm about ready to pop that amp. Yeah, but here's a question for you. Yeah. When you pop that amp for uh, broadcasting with it, what do you have to protect yourself from just dead short, or not dead short, but, uh, you know, nothing? Protect me from what? RF? From high, uh, yeah, well, from high SWR. I've got the tuner. Well, yeah, the the but tuner that, is in between the amp and the antenna. It's rated for the power output. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Okay. <laughs> so we're we're there. I mean, okay, I'll do the extra ten. Did uh, is anybody monitoring the? Uh... Oh no, we got uh, KD zero says my SNR is negative thirteen. So okay, I've got a negative nineteen and I got a negative thirteen. I'm at a hundred watts. Uh, let's do. Okay. Uh... Who can copy this message? So this is 100 watts. This is going to take three messages, one minute to send on JSA call. We're at 100 watts. In fact, let me let me switch this over here so you can see. There you go. Does PS, does PS uh, K reporter show JSA call traffic? Uh, I don't know. Oh. That was the wrong. Did I hit the operate button on the amp? <laughs> that was not correct. You still there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at your PSK reporter, and uh, you're not really making it out within the last two hours.
Did I pull my mouse cable? Hold on. Now my mouse isn't working. But well, we got our first little bit of RF in the shack. It was my mouse is not as man or malfunctioning. Hold on, I've got a. It's not. Looks like you also lost your camera feed to the roof. Oh wait, that's that's nothing. Should be nothing. We'll see. I... Maybe that's not. What Dean Norris says: overexposure, Sputnik can see you. Oh, there it's back. Kinda, yeah. Is back. <laughs> okay, hold on. Now we're just doing a stress test. On this week on HRCC, Josh opens all uh, garage doors for a three block radius. Hey, Josh, can you hear me out here? All right, Josh, I can hear myself on the stream, but I cannot hear your audio at all. Yes, that check your endpoint. Also, uh, this is why. You okay, there we eat. go. <laughs> so that that was RF. That was our first hit of RF. <laughs> so that that was a lot of RF. That took out a ton of stuff. Um, I'm assuming it's because the USB hub that powers the mic is in close proximity to the um, the coax coax switch. Okay, so we got. Ruh -ruh. All right, we got that back. I was getting picked up on the HRC, the at HRCC group. So here's what I'm going to do. We're at, oh, I lost a camera. All right, hold on. Let's get that camera back. Okay, I lost the camera. You're still there, right, Endpoint? No, Josh. Yeah, I'm, you're okay. You're still I'm there. just referencing. I'm referencing the ARL book, and uh, it says anything more than 50 watts, uh, you need to uh, do a uh, check to make sure you're safe. I'm safe. Okay. It's far enough away from me. Hat? The last year's uh, last year's thing, we didn't get above like I think 20 watts. Uh, this one's on the roof and further, far enough away from everybody. Okay, so we lost the radio and uh, radio camera, but do a quick. Uh, let me do a quick check on this guy. Yeah, we still have the camera. All right, um, I want. I want to kill this thing, kind of. So let me do a quick heartbeat again. What are we at? We're at, a hundred watts. Let's see if this is going to cause a problem again. Okay, still there? Yep. Okay. So, I know what I know what happened. We're good. 
That thing really does light up, though. I'm pretty impressed with that. Putting that ballon on, I think, was... The, well, getting it outside, too, probably helped a lot. Uh-oh. All right, let me restart JSA call. It's unhappy. Speaking about RF in the shack, when I first got my 991 Alpha, um, when I was... Uh, doing uh, just VHF UHF uh, mm -hmm. and having the USB plugged into my uh, my laptop, I was getting memory issues uh, with my uh, uh, Think ThinkPad. And uh, I had to buy like a bunch of balance and put them on everything. And finally that went away. Yep. That and, uh, or toroids. Do you mean toroids or, or ferrites? Or I'm so, yeah, that's what I meant. Not balance. Okay. I'm thinking the same thing basically, but yeah. All right, let me let me pop the let me pop this camera back into place. I've got to pull the USB and plug it back in, but I think I know which one it is. If I lose some more, it's okay. They'll come back on in a second. So <laughs> hold on, <laughs> we're almost there. We'll kill it. Yeah, I meant ferrites. Um, sick, but not like yeah, cold medicine. Lovely. Not that one. Nope, not that one either. Which one is it? I don't even know which one it is now. Was it the overhead? Did I lose the overhead? Oh, yeah, I lost all that. I lost all my cameras. Okay, well, we're probably not getting... Yeah, that one's stuck. <laughs> we're probably not getting that back. Okay, let's sally forth, and I'll deal with that stuff after the fact. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Bring that guy up. Uh, we can try that. Re-edit Tobias. I don't think that's going to work, though, but we'll see. No, oh, I guess it did. You'd think I know how to use OBS by now. Okay, radio's back. Nobody panic. All right, so we're at 100 watts. That's pretty much it. Um, not a lot of activity. Do I get a lot of... Uh, am I getting... Okay, I've got some acts on JSA call. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Oh, was that... Do we lose endpoint? Is that you, endpoint? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there was so much breath energy, evidently, that my phone rebooted as well. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't cause that. All right, no. let's dock this no. all the way down to Not 200 good. or 20. So I got to turn the power all the way down to 20, and then I'm going to turn the amp on. Okay, let me make sure I'm in tune. Let's do this first. Okay, a little bit of clicks. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's under 100 watts right now, so that's fine. Holy crap. I can see the light. <laughs> I can Whoa. see the light pumping. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to have to do this a bit different. I thought this was this is already tuned up. I don't know what's going on. Um, let me hop off frequency here. Let's go down here. 
hey, uh, now's the best time to practice your Morse code, right? Okay, that's stop. You're hunting. Okay. Well, that's pretty when it uh, tunes up. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to set this to 20. This might take some people out. Uh... Well, that's fine. Jeez, that's bright. That is 400 watts. <laughs> uh, Josh, um, that's bright. <laughs> that was 400 watts. Josh, your neighbors are going to complain about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Josh, that's brighter than the lights in the the, the background. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh, I'm getting so red. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shut up. Ward Dixon says he sees it in Cyprus. If that's the case, then we're gonna shut this down. What time is it? We're almost ready to shut it down. <laughs> Oh, man. Full legal limit? No, I, 400 watts is... I'm only taking it to 400 watts. Um, That's 20% output. That's all that was. You need to send your wife out there to take a photo of it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, come on. You had to have learned something. All right, now let's see what my uh, heartbeat's going to look like. Let's uh, go back up here. Oh, not 20. That would be bad. Uh, make sure I'm off of operator mode. Okay, we're tuned up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that seems bright. It's a little bright, I guess. If you're into that kind of thing. Oh, my monitor. And my, uh, and my, uh, none of my computers or anything fell out, and the camera's still working, so we're good. Still, though, negative 15, negative 18, negative 22. So that, um, that power is really getting soaked up by those, those bulbs. I don't think I'm going to take it over, uh, I don't think I'm going to take it over the, uh, 400. That's, that's about my limit, I think. That's fascinating, though. This whole thing was pretty fascinating. All right. Uh, let's send... So get ready, HRCC people, if you're watching this. Uh, go now with messages. So any messages you want to send, send them now, because I'm going to close out the stream. If you can copy this on the HRCC, the at HRCC. Holy smokes! Well, hey, guys, uh, if you want to watch more of this and join the fun over on the, the other side on Discord. Oh, that's right. There's a second round. Um, make sure to. I don't know if I've lost anything. Everything's still there. OK, go join us on the Discord after chat because I'm still going to be playing around with this. We're going to try and work some fun stuff with it. So, oh, the SWR just went up. Something bad happened. 
Yeah, power just dropped. That might have uh, that might have done something to the antenna. All right, let's let's see if I can tune it again. No, yeah, seems okay. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, <laughs> that was fantastic. Once we started getting a little deeper into it, got our uh, put our big boy pants on and realized we're not going to hurt the things. Those things just took 400 watts of power. Um, pretty impressive. I didn't expect that. I, I thought we'd probably get up to 100. That was kind of what I was hoping for. But 400 was definitely outside of uh, of what I expected. All right, so if you want to follow along with what we're going to do next tonight, make sure to join the Discord after chat, which is link in the description. It's going to be a lot of fun. And that's all voice chat, so everybody's going to be talking. So you guys can hit me with all your questions or you're such a crazy person, why are you doing this? <laughs> and, and that would be great. Uh, but before I go, I want to say a big thank you to the patrons. Without you, a lot of this wouldn't be possible. In fact, I'm, I'm putting a video together that's not patreon focused but it's going to have a, a larger component to patreon so i i appreciate the support big thanks to carrie blackwell jason brown jason siebert david dancero danny miller wesley magyar barbara schrock will ladd evan hartman admin extraordinaire franklin lewis brad snyder dennis dunderdale garrett larson jonathan franson 86 dm dennis i saw him in the chat the wyoming ham thank you very much for your letter i appreciated that that i got in the mail from you um earlier this week i think it was yesterday the day before really meant a lot thank you randall hinsley denny dennis mickelson george gaini andy kenny miyamoto ron thorson ken hall sean bales kg7 itx er draget shevich Shevich, I think that's correct. Um, Chad, Rob Zarge, Devin B. Hedge, Mark Chase, Raymond Cracker, Geraldo Kelso, Rob K8BCR, Lee Harrell, Michael Kearney, Steve Barker, Mark Fields, Corey Sheldon, Brad Nadow, Stephen Hunt, Connor Carroll, Mike Marusin, Mike Hearley, Harald Carpenter, The Brew Crew. In this case, it was a brewery spirit. And next slide, next slide. There we go. Stephen Hunter, Justin Rao, Stephen Carduz, Brian Fairbanks, Richard Smith, Hercules, KC1, LZR, Mike Zarrett, John Flowers, Tom Wright, The Tan Hat, Bill McCarty, Good Game Bees, <laughs> David Zeralt, Sam, uh, Simon Derds, Derds, let me know how to pronounce that, Nicholas Dubé, and Michael Ifrato. Anyway, guys, that has been a lot of fun, really a lot of fun. Oh, man, <laughs> I didn't expect that thing to take so much power. I'm shocked. I'm way shocked. I am going to get my wife to go outside and take a picture of that. Wow. Anyway, I'm heading over to Discord. Uh, we're going to do the live after chat there, and we'll probably be playing around more with some, some of this antenna action and see what we can actually do with it. That was cool. All right, guys, take care.